Systems register functional. All systems are working, Commander. Sigourney's character, you know, there's this long history of women in science fiction who, you know, basically have nothing to do. My agent said they're doing this kind of science fiction parody, but they don't want anyone who's ever been in a science fiction film. And I said, well, that's silly, because if anyone can parody a science fiction film, it's moi. And Sigourney Weaver would put on that wig, and she would get kind of flirtatious. And it would change her whole personality, that wig. I felt she was a very natural beauty, and I felt that it was very natural to her to want to show off these assets. I wanted her to be the American dream. I mean, my TV Guide interview was six paragraphs about my boobs and how they fit into my suit. Where did the boobs come from? She was no longer Ripley from Alien, you know what I mean? Ripley, gosh, they're universes apart. Actually, I felt like I was playing my secret self, that part of myself that I'd repressed for four times playing Ripley, who's so courageous and so professional. And I loved her. She was like my blonde sister, and it was really fun being blonde. I'm Siggy Blonde Sig, and I just like to say, Sammy Sam, you're my man. You blow me away. But I love you, Sam. Have a drink for me, because we're on a quest to, to the, the galaxy. galaxy.